Are you tired of spending time with serving infrastructure when you just want to deploy an open model? What if you could go from model weights to a scalable production ready API quickly? In this new series, we are going to answer this question and show you how to serve open models on Vertex AI. So let's get started. Hi, everyone. My name is Ivan Nardini, and welcome to this first video in our developer's guide to serving open models on Vertex AI. In this series, we are going to provide a complete roadmap with practical code for every serving option on Vertex AI. We will start with simplest serverless APIs, cover self-deployed model, and go all the way to high-performance custom containers using VLLMs, both on GPUs and TPUs, and even show you how to run benchmarks. But before we dive into the how, we need to understand the what and the why. Today's goal is to give you a clear decision framework. And by the end of this video, you will have a map to navigate all the serving options so you can confidently choose the perfect strategy for your project. So you need to serve an open model. The first thing to ask is how much control do you need versus how much simplicity do you want? This decision tree will be our guide for the entire series. We will walk through each path today at the high level, and in the future videos, we will deep dive into each of them with hands-on code. If your goal is um, maximizing simplicity, maybe for wrapping prototyping, or if you just want, don't want to touch infrastructure, then the full managed path is for you. This is Vertex AI Model as a Service, or MAS. We provide popular models as a serverless and pay-as-you-go APIs. You just find the model, enable the API, and then you get an endpoint to start eating immediately. The trade-off is less control, but you get speed to value, and this is embeddable. This will be the focus of our first hands-on video in this series. Now, what if mass is a bit too restrictive? You want a balance between easy to use and flexibility, and so the single-click deployment path is your sweet spot. With Model Garden self-deploy models, you can choose from a huge list of curated open, open models, but the key difference is that you choose the hardware. This gives you direct control over performance and cost. So it's a fantastic alternative, and we will dedicate a future episode to showing you exactly how to configure and deploy these models. Finally, for those who need control, performance, or just fine-tune a model and want to deploy it, your path leads to container-based serving. Here, we have two powerful options. First, using pre-built, optimized containers that leverage backends like VLLM or SGLang. You get a great performance without building the container yourself. The trade-off here is the number of deployment parameters that you can tweak, which is limited to what those containers expose. That's why, for the full flexibility and control, you can serve with your own custom container. This is where you can package any model, use any framework, and bake in any custom logic you need. This approach offers total control, and later we will have videos in this series showing you how to build these containers from scratch from both GPUs and TPUs. So that's our map. These are the core strategy for serving open models on Vertex AI. At this point, you have a better understanding of all the landscape of options. Remember, the goal isn't to find the single best way, but the best way for your project's needs. And this framework is your guide for the rest of our journey together. Now, you have the map, and in our next episode, we will start exploring and getting hands on. We will start with the simplest path, model as a service. We will walk you through step by step how to find and enable and call a serverless open model API for your application. If you don't want to miss that, or the rest of the series, where we will cover self-deployment, custom VLLM containers, and more, don't forget to subscribe to the Google Cloud Developer channel and turn on notifications. And let me know if you have comment which uh, part of this series you are most excited about. Connect with me on social media, and until next time, happy building. <laughs>